Welcome to Anytime, Anywhere, Mixed Media Journaling. And I think you could add for any age and anyhow. This is a wide open invitation to do more with what perhaps you're already doing at home. I want to encourage you to maybe expand the way you've been doing this. It's something you can do alone. It's something you can do as a family. It's something kids can be doing in one room, grown-ups are doing in another room, and then you get together and compile a treasure for your family. But let's start by talking about the supplies you'll use to do this. First, of course, is the book that you're going to use. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are spiral bound and some are not. They're lined or blank pages or dot matrix. Whatever you have is going to work. Here's a sampling of the kinds of things you might be working with. Blank or lined pages, spiral bound, brown, black can be nice. It means uh, using a special gel pen or gluing in any text that you want to add. Or even a big uh, sort of scrapbook, sketchbook style paper pad that gives you lots of room to work with and spread out in. Here are some of the kinds of things you might want to work with when adding images to your journal. Pencils and rulers, pencil crayons and scissors, regular crayons, and of course glue or tape for adding what you've made to your journal. The little pencil case there is just a reminder that you don't need much to do any of this. You can add just a few of your favorite things to work with to a pencil case like that and add it to any knapsack or suitcase. These are watercolor pencil crayons and they can be really fun to work with. A quick little sketch can be enlivened with just the addition of a little bit of water. I always find it kind of magical and fun to, to watch this transformation. And you know, you can just do it in the cap of your water bottle out on the trail and suddenly it's just a little bit more painterly. series of examples, 
we see just some of the kinds of things that you might opt to add to a written journal. Uh, things like drawings, photographs, pamphlets, pieces of map, ticket stubs, business cards for a favorite restaurant or inn that you stay at. These are all just the kinds of things that you might opt to put in yours. Also, there were um, ideas about how you can add more than just uh, a single item or say you want to see both sides of an object. So there were things like making a pocket where you can stick things in but take them out and read both sides or see the images on both sides. Um, if something is too big, you can always fold it and then tuck it in to your page so it fits in the book. And the other thing you can do is do a sort of lift the flap kind of concept where you can fit more than one image in the same space on a page. And the last thing uh, to, I guess I wanted to reiterate is we think of journals as um, record keeping, ways of recording our memories. Um, so writing about something we've already done. But journaling can also be a wonderful way to imagine what you want to do, to think about how and when and where you're going to do your next adventure. And sometimes they're thought of as a, a visioning tool or a vis visioning board. And so I'll end by showing you an image of, of that sort of concept as well. Of course, as you add things to your journal, gluing in um, images you've drawn or pamphlets or bits of map or whatever, the overall bulk of the book increases. So that is one thing to keep in mind. The advantage of a large spiral binding is the book can expand a bit more without becoming totally distorted. This beautiful handmade book with um, a more stationary binding has been added to, to a point where it doesn't even close anymore and it's hard to get it in the shelf. Of course, it's much beloved, but uh, that is something to keep in mind. Thank you very much for joining me for Anytime, Anywhere. Mixed media journaling for any age. There'll be another program in this series where we focus specifically on journaling for a project or a special interest. Maybe it's gardening or cooking. Maybe you're collecting ideas for writing or art. Um, and so I hope to see you at that one too if you'd like. But in the meantime, remember, pack yourself a little kit so that you can be doing stuff anytime, anywhere. Thank you.